Well, both these sides have appeared in every edition of the World Cup, and there have been only three World Cup finals where neither the Netherlands or Germany were present. They have dominated European hockey, and they have been dominant on world hockey as well. Kreuzer tries to make something happen. Good work. And has he found the foot? Well, he hasn't. But the Dutch come again. Verger on the reverse. Dick Fader across and turned by Kreuzer. How many of Mirko Kreuzer's goals have come within a yard of the goal line? He is the ultimate sniper. Gambush will be disappointed with his turnover. There's the ball from Berger, touched by Kreuzer. It goes to Wim Fedder in Lineker, goal swap, what a goal that is, oh, it's off the post. I thought that was in, and so did Matthias yeah. Muller. There it is, well worked, knocked left, and again, and off the post. So again, you see those three castles, same order. And this time it goes to Heiner once more, to Ruhr, and they're going for the deflection, and this time they get it. They're going to judge the height. Pierman Block is asking for height. This is more of a deflection than a slap, though, and I think this is legitimate. If you deflect the ball, it's OK. Three castles, Velen, Vinfeder in the middle. It goes to Vinfeder, and Vinfeder has scored! And despite being under the cosh for most of the match, Germany have done what Germany seem to always do. There's the push to the right of the runner. There it is. Here's nice Milkow. play. Nice little spurt. Hooks again. Milkow picks it up. Milkow still going. Good save from Black. Here is Velen. Velen has the ball across. It comes in. Milkow has made it. 3-1. There's the ball across. He does well to break through. Knocked away by the goalkeeper. This is a good pass. And well finished by Milkow. That's it. The ball comes over the top. And here is Fuchs and Blark with a really important touch. Play on advantage being played. Shot comes in. And it's stopped on the line. And it's a penalty stroke and the Dutch are unravelling here. Christopher Ruhr up against Pierman Blark, who will come out on top of this. We've seen Kiko Cortez save a penalty stroke in this competition. Can Blark follow suit? No, he can't, because that is into the roof of the net. That's the final hooter, and three goals in the final quarter have given Germany the bragging rights in Pool D. Final score, Germany 4, Netherlands 1.